Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Dota of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So, I'm back. Same outfit, same day. It is January 29th, of course, on Wednesday. Um, you probably won't see this video until like the second week of February possibly but um as the title says below this is going to be my unboxing for the delilah box this is the january edition if you guys have not seen my unboxing of the december one click the eye on the screen to go watch that video and learn all about the delilah box so you guys before i begin you guys if y'all saw the previous video which was my january book haul y'all know i'm sick okay I'm a little sick. Um, it's hard to breathe. It's hard to talk, but I don't want that to stop me from making videos. Second thing, smoke detectors. There it went. Um, I'm not gonna let that stop me. If you don't know what's going on, click the on the screen here to go watch my video. Um, the one I don't I don't remember what I called it. What's been going on? Where I've been? I don't even know what the update video was called. But just y'all y'all know. Um, but yeah. We're just going to keep pushing and um, not let it stop me from making the content that I want to make on my channel. Because I really do want to get more personal um, this year. I want to get back into doing my testimony series and things like that. So, we're going to jump in. So, before I get into this, I do want to say off the bat that I did receive this box again for free from the creator, the founder of the Delilah box, who is Taylor Hill. And I personally just want to thank her so much. It was honestly unexpected. Um... If you guys don't know the story of how I found out about the Delilah box, I'll just talk you guys through it now. Okay, so basically how I found out about the Delilah box, sorry, I had to take a sip of my water, um, is uh, a lot of you ladies have decided to follow me on my other channel, which is Nays Pink Bookshelf, where I talk about all the other books that are not Christian related that I read. And I was asked <laughs> if there were any like Christian book boxes. So me being me, I went on Google and reached out to a lot of companies and, um, the Delilah box was one of the companies. I just, I randomly came across them and I was, I, I, I was attached, not attached. I was intrigued by the name and the fact that they offered biblical fiction books, like, sold me. Okay. And then when I found out and read the information on the website, I was like, okay, let me reach out. So I did send an email and literally I sent that email and I think two, three, two or three days later, I received a package in the mail from them, which was the Delilah box um which was totally insane because I wasn't expecting it um and the thing about it is when you reach out to companies that they will either respond to you with a yes <laughs> respond to you with a no or they won't respond and you just won't hear anything or they just won't respond and you'll receive something in the mail so you have four ways of you know knowing not knowing so I was completely shocked, and um, I was excited at the same time. So that's how I found out about the Delilah box. Um, so I received it, did my unboxing, and then from there, Taylor actually had emailed me to see if the if, if I had received the box. And I had totally forgot to actually send an email to her with the link to the review, because I just was in my own little world, unfortunately. But um, then she said that, um, you know, she really enjoyed the review and that she wanted to send the next three boxes to me for free for review which my plan was originally to actually purchase <laughs> the boxes because I really did like what they offered like I was excited if you guys saw that unboxing I was excited for one of the books like oh, so excited um so I was I was shocked and stunned you guys it took me a while to like what um you know and a lot of you guys asked me how is it um to get like review books and review items it astonishes me to this day um it doesn't matter how big i get how many followers subscribers it doesn't matter i still get astonished when people actually do like answer my emails or they reach out to me or they send me free products like it's amazing because one they have to they're, they're giving me the products free of charge i'm not paying for shipping so i always am just mind blown by the opportunities that God has opened up for me and I'm always like grateful so I was like super excited and then she mentioned the books that were gonna be included I was like yes so that's how that happened um which is like amazing so that's basically how I found out about the Delilah box in Miss Taylor Hill so um like I said Taylor Hill is the the the, the, the finer 
Yeah, I'm, I'm sick, okay? Bear with me. I need some water for my throat. So, Miss Taylor Hill is the founder and creator of the Delilah Box and <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous, just company brand. I love it all from head to toe. Okay, head to toe. Um, now, they used to come in boxes, which I'll throw a picture here of what the boxes used to look like, but she switched over to doing hand-sewn bags, you guys, and if I'm not mistaken, she said she does about 200 a month. She hand sews these bags, and they are gorgeous, the fabrics. Um, this is the one that I got for the winter. It is red with snowflakes, and I'm here for it. Like, I actually just recently used this for a massive hardcover book as a book sleeve. I love book sleeves, but book sleeves are a little pricey. So when I got this in the mail, I was, like, super excited, and I use it as, like, a book dust jacket thing holder when I went outside. So we got this, and it's, like I said, it was hand sewn by her, okay? Hand sewn amazing um let me make sure i'm saying that right you know because i'll probably be telling y'all the wrong thing it doesn't say hand sewn so i don't know if she like does it by hand or by machine but she said she personally sews over 200 bags a month and she enjoys picking out the different prints and stuff so that is awesome so like i'm excited i already saw my print on the bag but i didn't like take it out because it comes in the priority mail packaging so i still have it there but we have that but before we get into all of that let's talk about what the company is first got so, the Delilah box is designed for those of us who wish to learn about the lesser known, lesser liked, and sometimes more relatable women of the Bible. As women of faith, we always strive to be Marys, yet truth be told, there are definitely days we feel more like Delilah. We fall from grace, we make mistakes, love hard, love wrong, and carry on. The Delilah boxes goal is to create a community of spiritual women who appreciate and learn from all the women of crisis time even the jezebels which i think is important um and i think that's what got me when i love the name the delilah box one because i love delilah um though she did some grimy things i think there's a lot you can actually learn from delilah and if you guys don't know i enjoy um delilah by angela hunt great book but um i think it's important that you don't just focus on the well-known people from the word of God. You also focus on the people that are lesser known or those who are like bad because you actually can learn things. There are things that I've learned from Saul just from watching him act a goddamn mess. Excuse me. There are some things that I've learned from David. He's a well-known person, but he's done some bad things. Okay. We all look at David as like the king, all his greatness, but there are things that he did that are bad. Same thing with Solomon. We look at his wisdom, but there are things that he chose to do involving women that you can learn from. So I think it's important that you don't just learn from the well-known people people and the great people from the bible but also from the lesser known and bad people from the bible because they're all human at the end of the day um so that's what attracted me to that and then what to expect is this so each month is centered around a different girl includes items relating to the theme and you can expect to receive two books of fiction or non-fiction some herbal tea bath tea bible journaling items or other relaxation items um, you could possibly get a soy candle, a study brochure, possibly a third book. Um, so yeah, as far as pricing goes, um, all the shipping on this is a $5 domestic shipping, which I think is great that you know the shipping fees, but you can do a month to month, which is $29. You can do the prepay for three months, which is going to be $85.50. You can do the six month prepay, which is going to be $160. So you have your options one month, three months, or six months. And I think that's awesome. So I'll leave a link down below where you can subscribe. And I think if you go on her website and you subscribe, you can get 10% off your first box, if I'm not mistaken. But don't quote me. But I don't want to keep this video too long because I'm having a hard time breathing. Lord help me. I need some tea. Yeah, yeah I know what this is if y'all saw my last video. But if not, if you're new to my channel and don't know who I am, the type of tea that I love. I love Bigelow pumpkin spice tea in the winter with some um, Cold Stone Creamer and Sweet Cream from International Delights. <laughs> it is the best concoction in the world. If you have tried the pumpkin spice tea, let me know. Let's converse, okay? Just let's converse. Um, one of these days, I'm going to come on camera with a different tea. One of these days. Just not today. <laughs> okay, so... Let me share with you guys the books that I got last month um, from her. So I ended up with two non-fictions and a fiction. So this one is When Jesus Was a Green-Eyed Brunette 
by Max Davis. It's all about loving people like God does. This is definitely a book I'm interested in reading. I'm not sure when, but I'm definitely gonna read it. This book, I was, like, super, like, high priority excited to read because this is a book that I've been dying to read, and there are three books within this kind of series. There are two more books before this, but I'm probably just gonna read this one anyway, and it's by Liz Curtis Higgs. Um, I love Miss Liz Curtis Higgs. She writes nonfiction as well as fiction books that are all Christian-related. I have read three of her books three two i don't even know you guys let me let me look at my list okay because i'm a little slow i've read two of her non-fictions which are the woman of easter yeah i read the one of easter which i did enjoy and i'm currently reading her devotional um which is the 31 proverbs to light your path i'm enjoying that which is actually right here is this it yes this is it. I'm enjoying this a lot. I'm going to give this a four stars. This is a really great devotional. I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, and then she also writes some historical fiction, which I do own two of her... I actually own two of her... Yeah, I own two of her series that are historical fiction. Um, and her historical fictions are sort of biblical fiction retellings of Old Testament stories. So that is that. Um, she has one called... Let me look at the, the titles before I get it wrong. Um, Thorn in My Heart... There is the Rose and Whence Came a Prince. I don't know the name of the trilogy. I'll put it on the screen. But if I'm not mistaken, that is supposed to be a biblical fiction retelling of Leah and Rachel. Rachel and Leah, however you say it. I think it's Rachel and Leah. Um, so it's supposed to be that. I'm not sure. Um, and then we have Here Burns My Candle and Mine is the Night. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a biblical fiction retelling of Ruth. But don't quote me. I heard it is when I read other reviews, but I'm not 100% sure. So, if I'm not, it'll be on the screen. But, um, really bad girls, uh, of the Bible. And it's more lessons from less than perfect women. And again, it goes with the whole idea of learning from these lesser known women, these bad women. And, um, she really focuses on a few people. She has two other books, like I said. It's called Bad Girls of the Bible and then Slightly Bad Girls of the Bible. And then she has this one. She also has one called It's Good to Be Queen, and I think that is a lesson from Queen Sheba, don't, the Queen of Sheba, don't quote me on that, but this one goes through seven, excuse me, eight different women. Um, she goes through the medium of Endor, Jael, which is from Judges, the Adulteress, um, Athalia, don't know what that's about, or is it Alethea? I think it's Alethea, excuse me, um, Beth Sheba, Herodias, which I do not like that woman, ooh, I don't like her at all. Mm, yeah um tamar the widow and then the bleeding woman so this is literally like an anticipated highly exciting read that i want to read so we have that and then the fictional book that i had was king shadow by angela hunt but i already do own this entire series so it was kind of a bummer but it's not because i'm actually going to include this in a future giveaway um i have a bunch of just fictional books here that i want to give away so i'm gonna work on that so we have that so let's get on <laughs> To the unpacking so here it is it comes in the envelope from priority now so oh like i said i didn't look inside but this is so cute so here is the bag you guys hands on okay hands i adore like i said i don't know if it's hands on but you can definitely tell this was done by a person and not like a machine in a store so i i love this oh my god this fabric is everything right now it's definitely a little thicker than the one from winter um there are strays here and there which is not a problem for me like i know some people when it comes to handmade items i know some people are very picky so if you're one of those picky people don't just don't be um because you're definitely gonna miss out on something but i <sighs> first of all it just says love okay just love 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 okay february it's coming up, so I'm excited. Um, okay, so how am I going to do this? I'm not going to look at anything. It's everything is in there, okay? There are two books in here, so I don't know. I'm excited. Um, okay, so first thing I have is this. This is Vintage Hill & Co. Caramel Apple Lip Gloss. It has castor oil, beeswax, carnauba wax flavored oil, and mica colors. So we have that. This is called Caramel Apple lip gloss this is so cute <laughs> just a little package so let's see I'm smelling that caramel for sure 
It smells good. My lips are actually dry, so. Oh, okay. okay. I'm looking at the screen so I could put this. Okay. That just gave me some gloss. Yes. Okay. Going to my purse. Definitely has that um that lip gloss taste. Oof. Let me get a tissue to wipe my finger. Hold on. Um, but I'm here for it. Okay. I love. I love that. So we have that. Okay, moving on. What's this? European sea. I'm sorry. European spa bath salts. That is so cool. So it says directions: pour into running warm bath water for relaxing bath. Enjoy. Bath salts are a wonderful way to combine the therapeutic benefits of all natural bath salts with the relaxing, soothing effects of aromatherapy. So it's European spa salt, citric acid, essential oils in mica colorant so we have that it's pink so cute i can't wait i haven't had it like a bath in a while so i'm gonna use this maybe i'll have a bath this weekend since my son is leaving might use that all right all right i'm excited okay let's candy i'm here for it um most likely we'll give this to my son because he is a candy person Yo, okay, I didn't mean to say yo, you guys, but I just, I just had flashbacks. So y'all, do any of y'all know about these? I gotta take it out of the packaging. I used to love these strawberry candies, yo. I don't even know what they're called, but they taste like strawberry, and then when you bite into it, they have, like, that kind of, like, jelly inside with strawberry. These were, these in the real caramel candies that, like, came in, like, the big chunks of caramel squares in the clear packaging with some Swedish fish to die for um I'm a 90s baby if y'all guys if y'all don't I'm, I was born 1991 okay so all right um okay so then we have this and this looks to be a keychain I'm probably gonna turn it into a magnet um most likely I'll just stick a magnet on the back um but it says don't drive faster than your guardian angel can fly oh that is so cute and that is like so true um, we like to go faster than what Jesus goes. We like to go faster than what God goes and be always burn and crash if we do. So, that is cute. Um, alright. Is that it? Of the loose items? No. Oh, I got a pen! I love pens, okay? It's a stylus pen. That is so cute. So, the tip is like a styli, stylus, whatever you call it. And then it's a pen. This looks like a regular one point millimeter pen um but it says the lila box on it book club subscription box that's so cute i i need pens everywhere in my life okay okay so notepad um i have my green one over there from christmas and it had like a cute little christmas tree on it this one is hebrews three and four and it just has a cute little flower on it i'm probably gonna rip off this first page but um it's pink like yes we need notepad for everything scratch paper for everything you can throw them in your bibles and whatnot so okay is that it? Well, I feel like there's something else in here, but I can't. I don't know. All right, next is this bookmark thingy. Um, it says, "This is the day the Lord has made; we will rejoice and be glad in it." Psalms one eighteen twenty four. I did receive this one in last month's box, and I love things like this because you can use them as tippins for like your journaling Bibles, or you can laminate them and actually use them for bookmarks. So now that I have two, I'm actually going to use one as a bookmark. Okay, what is this? This is... Ooh, it's like a crossword puzzle. Oh, okay. So, it's a crossword puzzle. I don't want to look at the back, though, because the back actually has, like, the answers on it, which I think is funny. But, um... I don't, I don't want to look at it. Okay, but, yeah, it's a crossword puzzle, so it goes through the profits. And, um, you just find the profits and then find the hidden message. I'm not going to look at the back because there's actual answers on the back. So that's fun. I love crossword puzzles. I love Sudoku and crossword puzzles. That's my thing. Like, well, not, not crossword puzzles. Word searches. I can't stand crossword puzzles. I love word searches, though. So, um, this is the Delilah Box January 2020. 
a little note from Taylor Hill, who, like I said, is the founder. I'm not sure what this is, though. All right, so she just goes through what's in the box and gives a short personal note on marriage um, in here. So that's cool. I love that image. The bicycle with the hearts. So cute. Okay. A little pencil pouch. Cosmetic bag. I'm going to use it as a pencil pouch because we don't need a cosmetic bag. I don't. I, mm -mm -mm -mm. No. Okay. I, we got problems. Um, This one says, live happy. It's white with gold um, and floral. I like that. Like a lot. And it's really nice. Here's the inside of it. So I'm definitely, I don't know if I'm going to use this as a pencil pouch or not. Most likely I will use it as a pen pouch because we need pen pouches in life. All right. Is that it? <coughs> All right. So two books. Check out the first one. <laughs> okay, so I own this book already, which is funny. Let me see what the other book is before I show you guys. That's funny. <laughs> okay, so I emptied out the bag. The bag is empty. I love this. Like I said, it's definitely going to probably be my new bag that I use for the month of um, February for my books. <laughs> okay, so... This is really funny, you guys. Like, no, it's really funny. Um, one, because I own these books already, and then I had two copies, two extra copies of the book that I'm going to show you now, but I gave one away to one of the, my sisters at church. So that is funny, but um, they're both Angela Hunt books, which I already knew about this book because she told me that this book was going to be in the box for January, and it's Judah's Wife by um, Angela Hunt. It's the second book in the Silent Year series, and this one is a novel of the Maccabees. So we have book two, and then she also sent book three, which is Jerusalem's Queen. This is the novel of Salome Alexandra, and um, yeah, this is book three in the series. And like I said, last month, I got book four, <laughs> which is King Shadows. And this is a, no a novel of King Herod's court. But I will say my favorite stinking cover of all these is this one. Like, there will definitely be a book look makeup tutorial discussion on this. I just have to read it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to read the books in order. Like, if I have to. I don't think I do. But I just might because that's just mentally I have to read books one, two, three. And I own them all. Like, they're all on my shelf. The first book is Egypt's Sister, which actually I gave that one away because I did have a copy of that as well. Um, but I gave that one away already. But, um, that is hilarious. <laughs> so, I now have books two, three, and four. <laughs> you guys can't tell me these spines or not. Like, I just, I... When it comes to biblical fiction, I will say, they are brilliant with their cover designs as well as their spines. I love a good spine. Just like I love a good book cover, but most of the times you're not showing the covers on your book unless you're displaying it. You're mostly showing the spines. And these spines are eye-catching. They're colorful, beautiful faces. And I normally do not like faces on my books. Like, regular fictional books, they have destroyed. I think what it is is adult romances have destroyed people on my covers. Like, you know, you pick up a romance book and they got that one random girl with like the crazy makeup on or you pick up that cute romance novel they got the man with the ripped body from the <clears throat> why um that's just me now don't get me wrong some book covers do it right just saying but biblical fiction i don't think has ever i don't think of any of the books that i own biblical fiction wise i've been upset with the cover that they've come out with which is crazy did someone call my phone no no one called my phone but someone did text me so let me just check that real quick i have my phone on silent um, my mother gonna have me pop her. You ever, you ever got a text from your mama and you just be like, I wanna pop my mother so bad. And it's not that she did anything wrong. It's that she just apologizes for no reason. And you just be like, why? Why are you apologizing? I'm in that type of mood right now. Like, like I said, January has been really, really crazy for us. Um, and it's hitting my mom hard. There were some things that took place with her, um, during this fast. And, um, it's been hitting her hard. Um, it, it's affecting the household as a whole, but it's hitting her harder because she is the head of the household. And I'm the second, sort of, second in command, second head of the household. Um, and, you know, sometimes I just be wanting to be like, lady, get, get, just get it together. But alas, I cannot. But, like I was saying, biblical fiction has never 
done me wrong, okay? Like, ever. When it comes to their book covers, and I, I swoon. I, I swoon. But... I got these gorgeous, beautiful ones, and um, not only do I love the cover, but I love the color of the spine on this. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. But, yes, yeah, so I have Judas White and Jerusalem's Queen, which I own, so these will definitely be given. I'm going to give the three of these away together. Um, sadly, I don't have a copy of the first book anymore. If I end up with the first copy of the book, then I'll add it to this before the giveaway. But if not, someone will get three of the four books. You just gotta get the first book for yourself. <laughs> but, um, do I like the Delilah box? I, no, I don't like it. I love it, okay? I think it's amazing because she's equipping you with these books on lesser known people, lesser known women specifically, so that you can learn from these women. Um, damn. Just so you guys know, this series from Angela Hunt, The Silent Years, is a series that takes place between the Old Testament and the New Testament. So it's about, I think, the 400 years that God was silent type of thing so that's why it's called the maccabees and the uh salome and also with king herod's court um and egypt's sister deals with um oh my god cleopatra's sister i think it's cleopatra's sister if i'm not mistaken don't quote me on that but um yes i adore this box um i'm here for this bath salt i'm using it this weekend this lip gloss like <laughs> sorry about the glare but do you my lips are just quit. This is amazing. I, oh. Got a little bit more of that. Is this green apple? I don't know why I'm thinking it's green apple. It's caramel apple. It definitely smells like apple. You know what I really want? A green apple scented lip balm, lip gloss. I love green apples over red apples. Um, Granny Smith specifically. I love Granny Smith apples, but green apples are like my thing. Really cops. But yeah, <laughs> um, so that is it. <clears throat> I love the Delilah box. Totally recommend it. I'm excited for the February book. Like I said, I do know what the next two books are going to be for February and March. And I'm overly excited because the February book I own an arc of, so it's going to be awesome to actually have a physical copy of that book because I did enjoy that book a lot. I, <laughs> I did. And then the March book is going to be a new release from Angela Hunt <laughs> so I'm excited I'm excited for the next and like if you follow her on Instagram you get to see the books that she has and like her storage unit is amazing and I in the future might want to figure out how book boxes work um I just I think it's amazing like I really do want to reach out to other companies and see what's out there um because I think that a lot of these companies need to be highlighted and what shocks me is that a, a lot of people are buying her boxes, but you don't really get to hear much about it on YouTube. And I wish that a lot more people would not be nervous to share their faith on the internet. And I know that's probably stupid for me to say because I used to be one of those people that was shy. But I feel like if a lot more of us just took the time to really think about it, people go to YouTube. For everything. <laughs> Literally. You want to know how to clean a pipe? YouTube. You want to know how to do cursive? YouTube. You want to know how to write a book? YouTube. You want to know how to read music? YouTube. Now, you can go pay people to take these courses, but a lot of the times, people will first go to YouTube. And um, what I didn't realize before making Daughter of Increase as a channel was that I was going to YouTube to try to look up Christian-related videos. Couldn't find any. Um, and then the ones that I did find were not always helpful because they weren't authentic. And I feel like a lot more people need to come onto YouTube and just share their faith. And it, like I said before in a previous video, it doesn't have to be this, read the Bible, blah, blah, blah. Like, no, just be yourself. Be the person God created you to be and um, share your faith. Be it through Bible studies or books. I love books, so that's how I connect with you guys through the Word of God. Um, yes, I do Bible studies, of course, but I feel like reading fictional books helps. Sometimes nonfiction books don't help. They have useful things, but you're just like, okay, whatever. 
I feel like biblical fiction and Christian fiction really helps to connect you with the word of God on a different level. Um, especially for me as a reader, that's how I connect it. Somebody else might find a way to connect with the word of God through fashion or with teaching different ways to like write stories and you're teaching people how to write Christian fiction. Like, I don't know, you know, there's different ways you can come about it. Um, and things like that. So I am excited for the Delilah box. Definitely plan to purchase once after March comes because I, I, I recommend it. If you are a fan of books and you ain't trying to break your pockets, because I mean, these books are $16. 16 Okay. So you're getting two books, maybe three a month, ranging anywhere from like 16 and up. Come on. And you're only paying $35, basically. I'm saying $35 because you know $29 plus $5. That's $35. It's like $34, but $35. Round it up. $35. Um, that's great. You're not going to get two books for $35. I mean, you're not going to get like anywhere from two books and other amazing items for $35. It's, it's just not going to happen. Like, I came across a hardcover book that I purchased for like 7 bucks, And when I looked on the inside of the book, I was like, ooh, the price was $32, you guys. I'm a bargain girl. Um, I don't like spending money. Not at all. Like, if I can get you for a cheaper price, I will. That's just me. Um, very frugal. That That's just me. Okay, but I'm going to end this video here because I don't want this video to be too long and that beeping is getting on my nerve. So, I'm going to end this video. I'm going to finish my, my tea. Might have to heat it back up, though. Mm, mm. Gonna finish my tea. I'm going to put these books to the side, and hopefully within the next two weeks, I can get my book shelf tour together for you guys. I think after I do, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to work on my book tour, book shelf tour for February, and it will be both, all, well, all three of my bookshelves. The problem is I got junk in front of my other shelf, so we're going to have to figure that out, but I'm going to work on doing that probably over the weekend when my son is gone, maybe. But um, either this weekend or next week, I'm going to record that and have that up for you guys for the end of the month. But definitely want to share with you guys my bookshelves because um, I've definitely organized them and changed them, changed up some things around. Um, now, I ain't going to show you guys all the books. Like, I'm not going to name them all because there's just too many books, okay? I got over 200 books that are Christian-related. Um, if you're talking about, like, secular books, I have over 400. If you're talking about how many books I own, <sighs> yeah, we're just, mm, don't ask, don't ask. Um, and I think what I'm going to do also is share with you guys my mother's bookshelves as well. Because she has her room, which has two shelves, and then she has two of the Lexington cards. I have two in my room, she has two in her room, so, two, right? I think she has two. I don't quite remember but um yeah so i'm gonna share with you guys her shelf as well i'm gonna reorganize her shelf so we have that but i'm gonna end this video here because i'm talking too much and this video is extra long so if you are not subscribed subscribe to the family join us become a daughter of increase become a son of increase join join the lovely family i am still in all that i'm literally almost at three thousand like what is life like, I used to think a 1000 was a big deal, and then I got to 2000 and then before I, I know it, I'm almost at 3000 Like, I'm at 2790 right now, which, thank you guys. I'm, like, in awe that you guys are really being able to glean from my channel. And my biggest goal for Dota of Increase from the start was for me to, one, make an effort in my relationship with God. It's not where I want it to be, but it's definitely gotten better from, like, day one video till now. You guys can tell. Um, two was to open up and really blossom into the person God wanted me to be. And again, you can see that from day one to now. Um, and three, it was to be a light for other people. Because I know a lot of people were like me. Um, who were quiet, reserved, um, and didn't really know where to go. Um, I went to YouTube, but there wasn't much on YouTube. And the fact that I now have, uh experiences and knowledge that i can share with you guys um and that you guys are gleaning is just like mind-blowing to me mind-blowing um but yeah i'm gonna end the video here so i'll catch you guys in the next video bye mm -hmm.